The first one that I'm going to be doing is buoyancy. Buoyancy. Buoyancy is when something can float. Um, here I have an, a non-peeled orange mm -hmm. and a peeled orange. Which one do you think will float? Adele, which one? It's peeled one. Zach? This one? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if this one will float. It's sinking! Now let's try this one. Look at that! It's floating! Come on again! You see, because the, the orange peel has lots of little air bubbles which makes it buoyant and so then it can float. And the, the peel is sort of its life jacket. My next experiment is called colour changing milk. What you need is milk, food colouring, a plate and dish soap. What you need to do is you need to pour in the milk then you add in the food colouring. And then you're going to add in some soap. The reason that the colour is swelling and twirling about is because the, the soap, the soap is um, getting the fat from the milk to stick together. And the food colouring is to show what's happening. And there you have it. My next experiment is about surface tension. I'm going to make peppers scatter away really fast. What you need is water, pepper and soap. What you do is you pour the pepper into the water. Then you get your finger, dip it into the soap and this, the pepper scatters away really fast. This is because of surface tension. The soap changes the surface tension of the water which pushes the pepper away. For my next experiment, I'm gonna show you how to make an egg float. What you need is egg, a cup of water, something to stir it with, and some salt. What you're gonna do is you're gonna carefully put the egg into the cup. So the egg sunk to the bottom and because the egg is heavier than water. So we're going to try and make the water heavier than the egg. So we're going to add some salt. And then we're going to carefully stir around the egg. And keep adding salt till Now you can see that the egg is now floated and it took a lot of salt and the water is now heavier than 